the new Ford Girardin's weird. Yeah, it's a Ford Transit. It's I ugly. know. It's mm -hmm. ugly. I prefer the old G5, and they rattled the shit anyway. So yeah. they all rattled the oh, hell. Oh, I know. I know that firsthand. It's why I can't get. It's why I can't get screwed like that. I'm I should serious. start doing that I'm too. I'm serious. There, were, there was a time where I tightened all the all the screws on the trim and the driver thing before. Why not? And now it's it's become part of his uh, pre uh, pre run inspection. Of the, his take the screwdrivers to everything. That could make claws all their minibuses. Well, still kind of. Why is it like with a lot of because it all signed the contract not being renewed. All signed point to the contract not being renewed. I, I, I think so. I think Trans have gotten the next, uh, next year. For the STF, for the project City Mobility. So, 100% electric bus, it will be quite similar to the ones that TM will get uh, for the City Mobility project. Uh, on Square Victoria over there, I don't know if we drive by, but uh, yeah, we drive by. So we, no, but we're going to see the, them anyway. That's where Victoria, this is where the fast charging station will, will be sitting and uh, be installed. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll have a short drive around the block and then cook the. Uh, I don't know how many times we have a little bit to do, but we'll see the vehicle. 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 We'll see the uh, we have a charging station located uh, in Saint Eustache that we use it to fast charge this bus. Uh, but right now, today, we don't have we won't have any uh, charging. Um, la façon que le véhicule fonctionne, c'est un véhicule à recharge rapide. Donc, c'est un véhicule qui charge at each end of route, not during each station, but at the end of route, like let's say between a 10 to 15 kilometer or a 20 kilometer route. So, one charger will be located in Square Victoria, and uh, at least for the city of the other one will be at uh, Metro en Grignon. So the, it's going to be used the line 36, so it's the Link 36, that's already a, a STM line. Uh, the charge lasts three to six minutes depending on the amount of energy that's been consumed before. So it all depends on a nice day or uh, if, it's, uh, if it's really cold, uh, if there's a few snow or if there's a lot of people in the world. Uh, les bus uh, pour Montréal seront climatisés. We have air conditioning for Montreal. Mm -hmm. This one is as well. And uh, this one is equipped with the Volvo. We have Volvo batteries inside here. So we have two on the roof, two in the back. There's a central motor from TM4. TM4 is a Quebec manufacturer. For ceux qui se demandent, c'est une topologie très similaire au moteur roue, le fameux moteur roue de l'Europe Québec. C'est la même topologie. C'est quand même un moteur central qui est situé en dessous ici. Le projet ici, c'est notre véhicule, c'est un véhicule Norobus. C'est 
c'est basé sur la même plateforme que les LFS. So the same platform as the LFS that we, we that you see all the roads in place in Montreal. What we've changed is the powertrain. So that's a, the powertrain is fully electrified, but the bus itself is exactly the same. C'est la même configuration, donc les mêmes options, les mêmes systèmes ici, c'est des configurations différentes de celles de la STM, mais c'est les mêmes sièges, les mêmes euh, configurations. Ce qui a changé, c'est vraiment la propulsion. Uh, the objective of that was to, uh, so that to limit both the driver training or I would say the transit adaptation for them. L'adaptation, c'est le transport, pas besoin nécessairement de la grande de nouveau véhicule, comment ça se conduit, turning radius, whatever, it's exactly the same. Even the ground of the market, the parts, it's all the same. So at least you get all the parts that you have yeah, to put it on this bus as the standard bus. So that was the whole goal. And this platform is extremely robust. It's been proven around Montreal. It's, uh, it's, I would say, uh, so it's been proven around here. So that was the goal is to really keep it as uh, simple as possible. The um, design portion of it, the development we've done, we've started almost four years ago. But uh, let's say we, we did a number of iterations, but this project has been fast charging has been moving on since at least two years, two years and a half. Uh, we work in Nova, we have a dedicated team of around 30 engineers and technicians, and we work a lot with the Volvo group as well. So the batteries, the batteries that you see in the system, they are the batteries that are in the system, they are the batteries Volvo, they are the batteries that we have developed in the same time. There are six projects in parallel that use the same batteries. The buses in Gothenburg use the same batteries. Over here, we use the same battery. They all, we all develop. There are some military projects and uh, construction equipment projects. We all globally use the same batteries. Why? To get economies of scale, for sure. To get reliability, to get durability and safety. So that's the whole goal around that. On the charging station, uh, we have two partners, AVB and Siemens. We have a Siemens representative today. John is here. Um, so uh, the station de recharge is by Siemens and Volvo. C'est nous aussi, nous on est vraiment responsable pour la portion hivernale de la conception, grâce à notre climat. Euh, donc la station de recharge, c'est. Euh, on a le picture here, vous savez, but the, the, the charging station is quite a nice integrated urban arm. And you have an inverted pantograph on the roof. So it, the, the clearance is good for the road, la clairance pour les routes. Donc les, 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 pour être ici, on la verrait par-dessus. C'est un peu comme un empattage. Puis, euh, le, le, euh, for the driver, Extremely simple. There's uh, yesterday I got a question from I think the, the, the rem, some, some another transit I asked us. So how, how much time do, does it take for a driver to learn how, how it works? Like about five minutes. Maybe it's going to be a bit more, but I mean drivers are able to align in a certain position. There's an alignment position. They align with, with the door and everything, and they see the, the mass, so they align. And then it's a it's just a rather a, the only interaction that you need to make is that. So to repeat that in English, the driver, all, all the driver needs to do is to drive around under the, the charging station wirelessly. The bus communicates with the charger. Hi, hi, I'm there. Yeah, your number of bus, and then your driver gets a confirmation if it's, if he's well positioned or not. Usually he is, and then the charger he just pushes, pushes the parking brake, and the the, the the charger comes down, charges the bus automatically. Driver doesn't have to do anything. He can get out or in the bus while it's charging, and then when the charger the charge is complete, after three to six minutes, the charger goes back up, and the driver just pulls the brake, uh, the parking brake. So really simple system for the driver. 
Euh, aussi, les batteries, la façon qu'on l'a fait, c'est qu'on a des batteries euh, qui, sont managed, qui sont thermiquement gérées. Donc, so we have thermally managed batteries. We keep them, keep them, keep them in nice temperature, so they last a long time. We, we send they, they're not too variables, uh, too, too impacted by the exterior temperature. Euh, sinon, côté non technique, ce qui est très intéressant, évidemment, là, on entend aussi que c'est un véhicule, mais euh, c'est vraiment le, le, un autobus quand même, ça reste un autobus, mais c'est le confort de, 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 de dégager à travers ce bus là c'est vraiment euh, la salle de l'eau. Si vous avez des questions, vous pouvez poser des questions. Si vous avez des questions, vous pouvez poser des questions. Le temps de recharge en terminus, c'est trois. En terminus, on va dire en fin de ligne. En fin de ligne. C'est trois à six minutes. Mettons, on va dire quatre, cinq minutes. C'est sûr. Ça dépend vraiment de qu ce qui s'est passé avant. Okay. Évidemment, on, on vise toujours d'avoir un certain pourcentage pour descendre. Donc, si, par exemple, il fait euh, 20 degrés dehors, il est optimal, le bus n'est pas très rempli, il n'y a pas beaucoup de trafic, on va prendre 3 minutes et demie, on va charger. Si le bus est pris dans le trafic, il fait euh, moins 20, la neige, et c'est le soir, les wipers sont actifs, les chaumières sont actifs, tout fonctionne. Là, là c'est sûr que là, on est dans un peu plus extrême. C'est là que l'on. Vous pouvez donner aux gens la chapitre de la c'est sûr qu'on est un boss plein ou il y avait plein. On est quand même un boss bien rempli. On a fait des tests, euh, des tests sur le Mont Royal cet hiver. Est-ce qu'on a fait ça ici? Oui, oui. Il est beau. Je pense que c'est le challenge de faire ça. On attend que We're just going to do a drag race with the other truck here. That's amazing. I'm going to go to the other truck here. I'm going to go to the other truck here. I'm going to go to the other truck here. I'm going to go to the other truck here. I'm going to go to Uh, <laughs> so we we were we have the uh, the Montreal okay, so we did last summer. We tried a we went for a high weather testing, uh, hot weather testing. So up the hill, uh, I don't remember the incline around. Uh, I think the average twelve percent incline and the maximum nineteen percent, and it went up six seventeen kilometers I think per hour. Uh, up here, so breaking the speed limit. Uh, that was a cow driving, which is a driver right now. He's a former driver from SDM. He had 35 years at SDM, and he had a question. Don't hesitate. 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 Just to prove the point, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but it's not. I remember some comments saying, oh, is it like in Quebec? Is it like in Quebec? With the autobuses that don't have the band they can get in. Is it like in Quebec? It's extremely... The power on it is extremely good for what we need to do. Oui, <laughs> Euh, c'est certain qu'entre la batterie et le moteur, nous, on, dans ce cas-ci, il n'y a pas de réducteur. Donc, c'est théoriquement plus efficace. Donc, on va les deux, fait que je dirais pas que l'un qui est meilleur que l'autre. Mais, euh, <rire> Mais le euh, moteur pour, du moteur électrique jusqu'au roue. Jusqu'au roue, c'est certain qu'il y a un de différentiel de moins, puis t'es le cas pour l'efficacité. Mm -hmm. 
Mais euh, c'est les, les deux, intrinsèquement, moteur électrique, c'est efficace. Donc, c'est intrinsèquement, c'est euh, fait pour ça. On, par rapport à une chaîne, euh, mettons, diesel ou thermique, appelons ça comme ça, c'est certain qu'on a une efficacité beaucoup améliorée au niveau de la consommation d'énergie globale. Ça part des batteries, ça s'en va dans le moteur, ça s'en va au rien. C'est assez simple. Comme une conversion d'énergie globale. Euh, par rapport au Québec, en plus, on a la électrique. Ça fait une chaîne assez, euh, assez propre, disons, et assez efficace. Merci. Au niveau, au niveau de la clim, de la, la consommation euh, estimée de la clim est. Certain que la climatisation, c'est-à-dire euh, pratiquement autant que la, que la climatisation, ça, 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 ça se calcule pas en kilomètres, la consommation, ça se calcule en plat. Okay. Donc, euh, la consommation est à l'heure et non au kilomètre. Donc, euh, la, la, dans ce cas-ci, évidemment, c'est certain que l'objectif de ce projet, ce n'était pas d'optimiser tous les systèmes de chauffeur de climatisation. C'était vraiment la pollution. Mais euh, c'est certain que ça a décidé un effet, un effet des consom de la consommation. Mm. Par contre, ça améliore le confort des passagers. Là, les, les chauffeurs euh, vont se battre pour le They said they were going to be big enough. Ah oui, non? Des fois, les clients, ils ont des adonnes. C'est des adonnes.